Joe is a first time caller out of Florida. And uh, Joe, thank you for calling. Thank you for waiting. Get it off your chest. Heard around the world. By everybody and their mama. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Jesse? All is well, Joe. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, I wanted to call and um, ask you a question about forgiving my mother that I don't think you've been asked before. Okay. So I, I've been listening to you for about two years, and I was initially hooked from your political views and how you're trying to help black Americans wake up. Yes. And then I heard you say the order of life, and it froze me in my tracks. I had never heard it before then. That's amazing. At the same time, but at the same time, I always felt like I knew that inside my heart. Yes, because the truth is inside of you. you. We already know the truth. It's just due to the traumas that happens in the home and other areas. We forget what we already know. Yeah, so so I, I'm done with being in a fallen state. And, of course, listening for two years, I know now I need to go forgive my mother and and I'm ready to do that, but my concern is is I feel like my brother, my little brother, needs to do that worse than I do or before I do because my concern is, like, I don't feel anything about it going and facing her. She lives out of town. That's not a problem. I can go down there and go do that. But I feel like after I have that conversation with her, later she's going to tell my brother and... You, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't I don't think I don't think she's going to receive if he forgives her the same kind of way because she's just going to feel like he's riding my coattails. And, you know, she, she's a mess anyway. Right. So <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I haven't spoken to her in 10 years and I haven't spoken to my brother in 10 years either because they're attached at the hip. Right. And so when I say I feel like she needs to go forgive, he needs to forgive her first, it's because, well, he's 44, he still lives with her, Amazing. married, raised his son, she's still with him. You know, things like she told him that his dad was someone else and he realized later that it wasn't, just all over the place, right? So... I want my little brother to go forgive him first because my concern is if I forgive her, she's going to be like, well, you're not going to believe what your brother came and did today. And then just, you know what I mean? Say got your mind, Joe. Is that right? Yeah. All that stuff you just said is totally is a uh, deception of Satan. And he's, know, I, I, he's, I holy, he might he's holding you back. You need... Your salvation is more important to you than your brother's salvation. And oh, wow. You, you, I mean, you don't know if you're going to even be around tomorrow. And to wait for your brother to do that, which might not ever happen, is a horrible mistake. You, before you enter into the kingdom of heaven, you must forgive. And waiting on your brother can take a lifetime. He may not ever do that. And you can die in that anger and believe me, you don't want to drop your body in anger, with that anger. No, it, you're not going not where so you think you're going to go. Same guy you have given you all those excuses. Your concern is not about what your mother going to say or do. It's not about what your brother going to say or do. It's about your salvation. And you don't know what's going to happen once you do it. Your brother may see you as an example and realize, hey, I need to do that too. He may not. Right. Your mother may and, and say, oh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. And she might not. But you got to do it. You got a bunch of excuses. You listen to the devil and don't realize it. You know, I had a feeling that you were going to tell me it, it was an excuse. But, uh, you know, I'm here to say that I haven't, you know, and I miss my brother. And I haven't spoken to him either in 10 years, right? Right. And so and so I want to see my brother. I, I, want, I want him to start waking up as God is allowed to through you to help me start waking up. I was agnostic for a long time. Right. I know you want that for your brother, but be that, become that. And that influence is more powerful than any influence that you can have on him. Wow. I, I, I just didn't want it watered down. Right. Because, you know, I don't but, feel anything. about Joe, this. you don't know what's going to happen. No one knows what tomorrow is going to bring. 
You don't know what the next moment going to bring. You can't figure out what's going to happen when you go and forgive your mother. That's up to God. You don't know what's going to happen. All that stuff you're saying is is not of you, it's, and it's not from God. Satan got you thinking that way. Wow. God said when you resent someone, go and forgive. He didn't say tell your brother to go or wait till your brother go. He told you to go straightway and forgive. And, and so my plan is, you know, basically to show up at the, up at the doorstep, right? Okay. So I, if, if I haven't seen anybody here in 10 years or whatever, um, it, it, it just seems like the timing of that is going to be weird. Don't worry about that. Wow. How old are you, Joe? 46. Amazing. Don't worry about the timing. Now is the time. The moment you see or you saw or realize that you resented your mother, that moment you need to go and forgive. Because the yeah. other moment is not promised to you. I, I I feel like I grew up resenting her. And I, I remember it finally came out of her once when she uh, slapped me across the face and told me that she reminded me of my dad. Yeah. I Women mean, hate just, children, boys, and their sons and daughters because they hate the father. Right. They but, hate but their father, did, so they hate the son of God. Yeah, when she did that, I, I knew in that instant all along that that's what was inside of her. Yeah. That's why I always felt a certain kind of way about her. Yes. And so now after listening to you for two years and not even looking at her for 10 or talking to her in 10, I'm ready to go do it. But my concern was, man, you know, I want to turn my brother on to you and your show and have him start waking up or whatever. But since I haven't spoken to him, my plan was to go down and speak with him first and tell him that I was about to go forgive our mother. You can talk to him afterward. Okay. I just think that she's going to get to him before me. Oh, you just can't believe what your brother came down here and said. And, blah, 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 and she blah, blah, probably and will she, do that. She might do that. That's what they do. But still, you need to go and forgive, and God would direct your path. Yeah, because that's definitely going to happen. When I say that he's 44 and still lives with her, was it, married, rose, you know, raised his kid inside the house with her still there, and they're still together, that's uh, impenetrable. You know, I feel... I feel terrible for him. I That's like slavery. Never get out of that. that is big pure time. slavery. Big time. Yeah. And, and I want to. And I want to pull him out of that. And I felt like if I go forgive first, it would water down the experience for him. And she's like, "Oh, you're just you're just following your brother." You're Joe, just, uh, Joe, come out of your head. Yeah. Have a wait and see attitude. And two years you've been knowing this and you're waiting all this time. I would get that done if I were you. My best recommendation. But have a wait and see attitude. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, life is about wait and see. You can't plan ahead because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Mm. You have no idea. No one knows. Mm. So always have a wait and see attitude about everything. Yeah, well, would you suggest, I mean, because like I said, as soon as I get in the car and hit 95 north <laughs> and, go, and go back home, the, the nanosecond I turn the key and my brother comes home, it's going to be over. Joe, have a wait and see attitude. <sighs> Sounds like that's what we'll do then. Really, you, you become it, and your brother may, may or may not see it, and just seeing you do it can encourage your brother. But you don't know. Have a way to see attitude. You got to do it. And first of all, you don't know if it's going to work even for you because you're not done it yet. You know, and, and, and I really want, I want your perfect peace. That's what I want. I want to be closer to God. Like I said, I ran agnostic for years. And you, you like a slow drip. You, 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 you're pushing me to, to, to start waking up. You know, if you're listening to, to your, you know, like I said, I like your political views and how, how you're helping black Americans. Right. And the, sl the slow drip of the other side through two years has finally gotten me to this point. And I'm, I thought to myself, okay, let's do it. And then I thought about my little brother and I was like, wow, she told him another guy was his dad. Yeah. All this other, all this other stuff. 
maybe I need him to go first. And I was like, wow, Justine might think that I'm, I'm trying to make an excuse here, but I'm not sure. No, go and forgive your mother and let the chips fall where they may. And the peace that I have is not my peace. It's the peace of God. And that's what you're going to uh, start living by with that peace. So go and forgive and you'll see the next thing to do or not to do, but go and forgive first. That's your first calling. Oh, the chips are going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your father? Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm not close to my father either, right? And, and you say, those, you know, those people that are agnostic and, and whatever else aren't close to their father, boom, like a bomb right over my head. Yep, check. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, 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 and I feel like I want to go forgive my mother. For My, my father lives in town, right? It, it's 15 minutes. And, and I'm wow. And, yeah, and, and, and why yeah, haven't you gone know. to him already? Well, I mean, I realize that you know he's beta, and uh, for the longest time he he's been subject to a woman, and 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 it's, and it's at the sake of of our relationship, right? And so you know now that he's you know whatever your age, you know I just let him be, but. I don't feel like I have an overwhelming need to forgive him. I realize quicker that he couldn't help himself. Yes. Then I then I realize that my mother couldn't help herself. Let, it's been, let your father know that, Joe. That you realize that he couldn't help himself because what happened to you happened to your father. Right. Men have been traumatized by their mothers and they're trying to get they're trying to find their way back and they're trying to find it through the woman, but it's not through the woman. Sex is not love. The woman don't have it. It's a return to the father and not through the woman. Right. Otherwise, they will always be your God. Always. You can't get around it. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, like I said, I just wanted to thank you again for, for initially putting in that order of life. You know, it, it, it sent me back to when I was remembering when I was playing with as a little kid with, with this family that had like seven kids in it. Right. Yes. And, 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 and the mother called them in They They were kind of slow going in there. And and then they saw their dad coming down the road and every single one of them, without saying the word, just started walking in. And I was left there by myself and I thought to myself, yep. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, absolutely. Go forgive your father, Joe, and go and do with your mother. Forgive her. And then you will see what and if there's anything you can do for your brother. Wow. Well, that's All awesome, Jesse. All right. Let me know how it goes, Joe. I will, Jesse. All right, man. I, 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 you made my day. I wish you well. You made my day. Thank you, Joe. All ha right. Have a good one, buddy. You too, buddy. All right. Amazing. Another thing I want you to notice is that most Christians, most, if not all, most, especially ones that read the Bible, and nothing wrong with reading the Bible, but quoting the scriptures and carry on, they're not close to their earthly fathers. Not at all. And they don't understand. It ain't about the Bible. Even though the Bible said, I will return the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children. They ain't doing that.